Hello, I'm Mr. Brown. I got a quick story for y'all today. Uh, the other day I did a training session on some four principles and one of those principles was to be there. In other words, when you're somewhere, be all there. Or better yet, the question is this, when you're somewhere, are you there or are you somewhere else? And I know that struggle because I'm a thinker. I'm always thinking about stuff, I've got these ideas. And, and so I could sit there and talk to someone, but my mind is somewhere else. I can spend time with my family at dinner, but my mind is somewhere else. And so I came up with this idea of this. Don't clack your heels. Don't click your heels. Clack or click. Don't click your heels, but tap your toe. Now, what does that mean? Well, you remember the story of the Wizard of Oz when Dorothy, she wanted to go back home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. She clacked or clicked her heels, right? And so I thought about this. When I'm somewhere and I need to remind myself that I'm there or I need to, to realize that I'm right there, just tap my toe. I'm right there. I need to just tap my toe to remind myself to be all right here. Right here where I am, to be focused, to put all myself in to where I am right now in this particular situation. And sometimes that means putting the phone down. And that can be hard. Putting that phone away. Not just don't vibrate because it vibrates pretty loud sometimes. But to put the thing away somewhere, leave it in the other room because you want to be where you are right now. Because the reality is if somebody texts you or somebody calls you, you can get back to them whenever you can. So, my story. The other day I went to pick up my daughter. So the next day after, what's this? No, next day after this training, I went to pick up my daughter from school. And uh, go pick her up. And I, mom usually picks her up. So I pick her up, but I wanted to talk to the principal because I work with that school. So I ended up talking to the principal for a while, talked to the sister principal for a while. She was being such a good girl. And the principal's wife had brought Jamba Juice by. So Sophia kept looking at the Jamba Juice. Or at least I'm going to blame her for looking at Jamba Juice. So we went to get some Jamba Juice. And so while we were on our way to get Jamba Juice, we just hung out together, just laughed and played. Um, we made a video in the car. And you can watch that video if you go to hellomrbrown.com. Click on the video button. And in this video, I was talking about uh, the Choose Well Tweet of the Week, which was, your influence has an expiration date, so don't let it go to waste. So I'm recording this video with Sophia in it, and she walks up to the camera and starts sticking her tongue out, and we just laughed about it and had a great time. So it was really a, a spontaneous, unplanned daddy-daughter time. We had fun, and I was there. I was where I was with her, hanging out. Mom didn't know where we were. Uh, we were just hanging out together. It was really cool. Well, that reminded me to be there. When I'm somewhere, to be all there. So the next day... Um, Sophia wakes up pretty early and she's calling me and I'm tired. I stayed up too late and I go in her room and I'm trying to, to get her to fall back to sleep because it wasn't quite light yet, but it was like kind of light, but it wasn't quite light yet. So I'm trying to get her to go back to sleep. So um, I kind of put my head on her bed. She's still laying there. And I said, oh, Sophia, you can go to bed. You can go back to sleep for a little bit. And she was like, well, I'm not that tired. Well, just try because the sun isn't awake yet. That's our term. The sun isn't awake. And so she wasn't buying it. So I kind of laid down and I'm trying to stay still, see if she'd go back to sleep, if she would, you know, follow my lead, right? Well, she didn't. But she did something that was so <laughs> remarkable to me and something that made my day. She turned over and she looked at me. And she says, Daddy, remember we played yesterday? That was fun. I love you, Daddy. Not only did she say, I love you, daddy, but she kind of grabbed the face. And I'm like, this little girl, how she, you know, she just getting right, right here. She grabbed my face. Daddy, daddy, that was so fun. I love you, daddy. And I think <laughs> there's benefits of being there. Those times that you have with your family, those times you have with your friends, those moments can't be replaced. As, as, as the one commercial said, they're priceless, right? They are. And sometimes you don't always see the reward that quickly of them remembering or saying something, but that time invested is very valuable. So her turning to me and going, Daddy, that time we had, actually she said today, that fun we had today, but it was really the day before. Uh, it was fun. I love you, Daddy. It's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it to be all there. So I don't know where you are today in your life, because I know we all live hectic lives. We live busy lives. This can be, this This is a message for all of us. It doesn't matter what age you are. Students, sometimes you you want to hang out with your friends and you tell your parents, and when you hang out with your friends, what are you doing? Talking on your phone to some other friends. Duh, hang out together. Put the electronics down. See, I love technology. Technology is great. But technology 
it can be a, a curse because it's such a convenience that we don't balance that enough to balance the fact that we need to put it down some time and it can control us. And it hinders us from being there where we are. Maybe you are a parent and you're busy. Maybe you're, you're a man like me. You're, you're a man and you got to make the ends meet. You're working hard and, and you just get busy. You got to make some time to be there. And maybe it's just scheduling that time to be there and taking that phone and saying, I'm putting it away. And I know it's hard because I, I, I do it. So for us men, you might need to tap your toe, stomp your foot to remind yourself you're right here. Hopefully your wife won't tap your foot for you to remind you, but we all need to do that. Maybe your mom and you're worried about the house being clean, things put together. Maybe you're working the job. Maybe you're working hard and husband stays at home. I don't know what your situation may be. Whatever the case may be, we all can take something from this point to be there in all our relationships with our moms, our dads, our brothers, our sisters, our cousins, our uncles, all of our family members, and even our friends to be there. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Hope you guys will get something from it and learn to be there. So your little daughter can tell you one day, I love you, daddy. It got me, y'all. Anyway, remember choices are so important because choices are the puzzle pieces of life. So make sure you choose well. And when we say choose well, I mean this, Make better choices to live a better life. See you next time. Mm -hmm.